but Hidden Tesla is no doubt a very important defense inside of Clash of Clans. But it had also become one of the biggest trolls in the game, especially with the corner Tesla. And today, we're going to be going over the Hidden Tesla, how it became such a troll, and how it also became one of the most important defenses inside of the entire game. The Hidden Tesla was added just 4 weeks after the game came out and it was really unique since it acted like a trap because it was hidden but it wasn't actually classified as one. Unlike all the other traps in the game currently, the Hidden Tesla wasn't just a one time thing. Instead, it would act like a normal defense after coming out of the ground and that's probably why it is classified as a defense. This is what would essentially allow people to troll with it and also the same thing that would make it one of the most important defenses in the game but we'll get to that part later. You first unlock the Hidden Tesla at Town Hall 7 and you unlock two of them. At this stage of the game, just two Teslas wouldn't make too big of a difference defensively if they were put in the base itself because they didn't do a ton of damage or anything and were pretty easy to destroy. Obviously there would be situations where a troop was at very low HP and the hidden Tesla was enough to kill it, but that was rare and so people didn't really focus on it. Instead, they would just put their Teslas in the corners of their base and this kind of worked like how you put the builder huts in the corner, but with the Teslas the enemy wouldn't actually see them unless it deployed troops in the corner, which pretty much no one does. Or until they had done 51% destruction to the base since all hidden Teslas will automatically pop out after that point. Also, by that point, in most cases, the enemy would have deployed all of their troops, meaning they couldn't do anything about the Teslas now. And if you put your Teslas on opposite corners of the base, then that could literally mean over a minute of traveling for the enemy troops to go to both of them, assuming they were all together. And this would cause them to not get the 3 stars because they ran out of time. And this was probably the biggest way of trolling with the hidden Teslas and it was quite effective. And the other thing that made this strat so good was that it really messed up defense targeting troops such as hog gliders and balloons, which were also some of the strongest and most used troops in the game at this time and at that town hall level. Typically, you would only have some hog gliders or balloons alive by the end of your attack depending on your strategy and so that meant those troops would go for the hidden Teslas first instead of getting rid of any non-defense buildings in the base and this would cause them to take up even more time and in most situations like this, the attacker would definitely run out of time. Especially Especially with balloons considering how slow they already are. And this was made even worse if the town hall was one of the non-defensive buildings as that meant the attacker only got a 1 star instead of a 2 star. And that was really the peak troll of this whole strategy. But it also wasn't just limited to town hall 7. People would even do it for town halls 8, 9, 10, and maybe 11. But at that point, the hidden Teslas had become more important as actual defenses. And this tactic was also kind of buffed and nerfed in a way with the addition of town hall 11, since that update increased the size of the map, meaning it was obviously bigger and that meant the travel time between the corner Teslas would be longer, but the overall battle time had also increased, so it was kind of like both a buff and a nerf. And and it would really just depend on how long it took the attacker to destroy the base before being left with the Teslas. And over the last few years, this strategy has kind of died out since people progressed through the early town hall so much faster, so it isn't really a priority to try and prevent people from getting 3 stars on anything, when it might only take you a few weeks to move from like town hall 7 to 10 compared to the earlier days where it would take many months. Plus, past like tunnel 10 or 11, they just take up so much space that they can cover the entire map and so some hidden Teslas in the corner just wouldn't make sense either for the purpose of preventing a 3 star. But back then, this strategy was so popular and so widely used that strategies were being formed just around them. The biggest and probably most basic was just having like 4 barbarians or other small troops and putting them at the 4 corners to test for these teslas. And if they existed, then you could destroy it with your other troops. But another strategy was to keep some stronger troops on standby until you either just woke up the hidden Teslas or until you could see where they were after 50% damage. And if they were at the corners, then you could use those troops you were holding and deploy them to take care of the hidden Teslas. So that is also one factor that led to the strategy dying out since it had relied on people not knowing about it and it 
being a surprise. So when it became widely well known, people started using it less. And when the builder base got added, this strategy also briefly came back since the builder base map was pretty big compared to the actual structures you could build. So it was pretty effective here, especially because the time really mattered in the head to head attacking style and putting the hidden Tesla in a corner could really be the difference between a win and a loss for you. So it had made a bit of a comeback, but obviously now with the builder base 2.0 changes and just the overall decline of the builder base, it really isn't even that important over there anymore. But even outside of this troll, the hidden Teslas had more ways people could troll using them, and that was with farming bases. And one of those was with farming bases. And this was only possible before Tunnel 11 came out, since that update kind of ruined the strategy. And I talk more about that in this video if you want to check it out. But basically, it was a fairly common thing back then for people to just leave their town hall in the corner of their base completely unprotected, so that the enemy would just destroy that and move on. And the purpose of this was to save loot and because it was a popular strategy some people started trolling by making it a trap essentially where they would place the hidden teslas and their traps around the town hall to hopefully get people by surprise and this was kind of controversial as some people saw it as really scummy while others just saw it as something funny that didn't really matter too much and a final way people used to troll with the hidden teslas and what still does happen to this day is creating fake spawn points inside of your base now now, this is definitely a tactic for the lower town halls and it is also used with the other traps in the game but this tactic was basically just creating a wide enough gap in your base so that enemies could spawn inside and it would seem safe but once they spawned they would trigger whatever traps or hidden teslas may have been there and it was a good way to troll unsuspecting players and obviously like we're putting it in the corner people soon realized the strategy and fell for it less but if someone managed to make it look like a hole was there by mistake or they just put so many holes that it would be impossible to guess where the traps were then it could still be pretty effective either way all of these things really made the hidden teslas really good to use for trolling in the game and despite them not always being used to deal damage they were still pretty good at preventing three stars which was the most important part but after about 2016 or 2017 ish the hidden tesla trolling was definitely not as popular but now it was being seen as a defense that could actually really be useful with defending then this primarily came in the form of the tesla farm this was basically just where you put all of your hidden teslas right next to each other so that they could all do a ton of damage combined and it was like a trap since it was supposed to surprise the attacker and throw off their attack and despite there being four hidden teslas at tunnel 9 this was more of a strategy that was used at tunnel 10 and onwards this is because you now had enough walls and buildings and stuff to space things out and have a couple of spots for a tesla farm meaning the attacker couldn't be 100% sure of where it was though some bases made it pretty obvious but that was to be expected once people started figuring out the strategy similar to how they reacted after figuring out the corner tesla strat however some people would put up bases like this yet not put the farm in the obvious spot so you could never really be 100% certain since some people also just didn't even use a farm at all However, the Tesla farm strategy would be really strong, mainly against air armies like the dragons and balloons, since it is no secret that air defenses are pretty lackluster until about tunnels 13 or 14. So having a bunch of hidden Teslas was a really good way to deal with air attacks, especially when you put a ton of air traps nearby to help also deal a ton of damage. And even around tunnels 7 and 8, you could argue that the Teslas were super important, since they were one of the few defenses that could also hit air troops, which was essential considering how strong dragons and balloons were at those levels and how ineffective other defenses were at stopping them. But they were also a bit too strong to the point where those two or three Teslas really couldn't do much, which is why people used them for the other troll purposes that I mentioned earlier. But back to the higher town halls. The Tesla farm would end up being an extremely effective defense, especially when you put it near the town hall. And town hall 12 itself also kind of acted like a Tesla, so that was just even more combined damage. And it could really destroy an army at the core of your base if you designed your base correctly. And obviously, past town hall 12, all town halls were also weaponized, which just made putting a bunch of Teslas around it a lot stronger, since the whole appeal of the Tesla is that they don't take up much space, 
and you can use them to just add more DPS without sacrificing much. And around like tunnels 14 and 15, the Tesla farm would also be pretty effective against the Miner and Hog Rider hybrid strategy because the Teslas are good at getting swarms of troops since it is 5 separate defenses all attacking at the same time so they were able to deal quite a bit of damage to those troops. And you could even put bombs around the Teslas since both of those troops are melee troops meaning they have to get right next to Teslas to attack them and adding a giant bomb around them would really help deal a ton of damage very fast to large groups of these troops. And at Tunnel 16, they still play a pretty similar role. So overall, the Teslas that used to be used as more of a troll at the lower town halls ended up transforming into one of the most important defenses inside of the game at the higher town halls. And this wasn't because the Tesla itself was strong, it's more because the group of them together are really strong and can do a ton of DPS together. And it has been really cool to watch the transformation of this defense as something overlooked by many to becoming a key part of your defense, protecting the most important structure in your base, which is the Town Hall. 